here. Well, this is the best of the best. This is the final draft of the day. We're jumping to draft game number seven. AP Brand against Onik. Who wins this one? We'll be the world champions. Right off the bat, bat. we can see the Guinevere gonna be banned out as the last ban. One one also banned out. So this does this mean AP Brand will take the Fredrin immediately? Or Arlet? As we know for sure, Arlet has been the favorites of AP Brand. But the Mat Matilda also banned out. Kinda makes me think, yeah, surely Bruno or as or the Fredrin should be the pick here for AP Brand. I almost feel like you gotta set up for that clod, man. Either you're gonna use it or you're gonna go against it because both Super Marco as well as CW, which in my personal opinion are the standouts for this tournament, they're really showing up with the clod. And I kind of feel like Value it's gonna be picked up in the first phase if you manage to pick up the Frederick. The fair miss is the typical answer for Onik this time. Maybe they pick up the clod with that. Or maybe they, they take up the Bruno. Bruno Faramis or Claude Faramis. No reason not to pick it up if they're on it. Yeah, especially considering they might be up against either a Claude or a Brody. Two heroes yeah. that up against the Nether Realm will struggle. Yeah. Onik can definitely go for the Faramis here with... I mean, just take a look at the bands, right? Just throughout this series, the progress that we've seen. No AP Ren started out with just Bio Heroes. It's a Kadida! It's a Kadida for Sans. It's an or Indonesian hero. Keyboy. Oh, you're right. That we're talking potential. about Onik. We're talking about Onik. Oh my goodness. Do you still want to go Lilia for AP Brand or do you want to pick up the... I mean, the Bruno is good. Famous plus Frederick though. That's a valid option here for AP Brand because it's a classic combo. Decent versus the Kadira. Oh. There it is. Maybe they pick, they close it up with the Darlet. <laughs> Here's and the thing, man. I kind of feel like that Kadira pick was forcing that Faramis pick yes. because it's a, good, it's a good answer, right? Kadira goes in, wants to burst. What does the Faramis do? Cancels out that burst. Yep. So this Kadita feels like a bait, man. Yep. Something about oh, this doesn't seem right. The art oh, of Brody, miracle. a very early Brody here from AP Brand. I mean, it did work before. That's instantly okay. answered by a Terizla. Onik are going in for their signature picks. Or the picks that work. I'm looking at the draft here, and I kind of feel like Onik, they want to have a very solid front line. I feel like they want to go in. I feel like they yeah. want to pick up the pressure. They want to pick yeah. up the tempo. Sure. Not letting AP Brand time to think. Yeah. Because AP Brand is a very disciplined team. That's right. And if you break up their Systematic. And if you... I would say if you break their formation, maybe at a game seven. In the best of five, you can't do it. In yep. the best of three, you can't do it. In the best of five, sorry, in the best of seven, that's where you see the cracks. Yeah, you're right. Because you've seen so much games, you've seen so much, uh, you've battled against him so much. And you even mentioned like CW versus Super Marco, they might, ha might have developed their own relationship in that goal chain. <laughs> because of how many times they have poked each other out. It's a very likely option here. Uh, AP Brand, gonna be looking for um, some bands on the Marksman for sure. Like the Claude still is a good band for AP Brand because you don't want to give that out. And, and also, Maybe the maybe the Bruno Bruno. There's no time to just They battle the court anyways. They're seeing this this pick as suspicious as well. Yeah, this might be it. But if it ban out too many mid laners, maybe no. sounds just like yeah, no, I can't use the Kadida. No yeah. worries. That's the beauty of using the flex pick here in game seven, right? Meanwhile yeah. for AP Brand, they've gone for solid picks in their own roles for the Brody, the Faramis, and the Fredrin. Yeah, I would say the Fredrin can be flex, but for AP Brand particularly, we've never seen it at. M5. Yeah. We've seen it multiple times into the mid lane even, even in ISF. Yes. How about the Dyroth here for Onyx as the man? Because we know for sure that the Dyroth is great versus the Baksha. Gotta be pick up and obviously the Novaria um, from a few. Yeah, we gotta look at both players, most years hero, 71% win rate for the Valentina for San, 77% win rate. Novaria for a few. Again, very impressive heroes where we saw doing quite well in this game so far. The stats is on the screen here. And looking mm. at Onik mm. betting out the, the, Grok. the Grok as well. Yep. My inference here is that it is a hero that can be used against the Kadida in a way that you can spot out where the Kadida is. It's a bush checker. 
I don't know if that's a proper word, but yeah. It, it, it is now. You, you sit it on the world stage at what, like what? Okay. Four million people watching. That's right. If we can go up to six, that would be amazing. But yep. the final ban here coming in from AB Brand, we will see yep. if Brand rules. Wins. In red wins, I'll propose to my girlfriend. W man's. W man's. Wait. Do it, do it now. Do it now. Yeah, yeah, do it now. Do it now. Why are you waiting? <laughs> Projection, right? Yes. You gotta imagine it. Mm -hmm. You gotta do it. Do it now, man. Do it now. But Lilia getting banned out as well. They're really not taking the bait here. They yep. do feel like this might be a key boy, Kadida. Now that they see Ooh. this Brody, do they pick up the Bruno or do, do they still want the Claude? Claude is going to be a solid option for Arnik, but if they don't pick up their gold later now, I think they might be eyeing for something like a Harith. Yeah, oh, I was about to yeah. say that too. It's a, it's a good hero. Maybe they pick it last. So now it means that they might pick Happy up... Happy anniversary, by the way. Yep. Happy anniversary. They might pick up something like Edith here. Oh. Edith! It's the Faramis, of course. 1% ban pick rate, 100% win rate. rate. That's right. And it's against a Faramis, against a Brody, two heroes that struggle against a Yiv. That's right. This is what happens in a long series, man. You you wait to you hold on to your ace. Exactly. You exhaust everything and then Bad you... Bad I'm sorry. Nani? I said 4-0 something, remember? You're not, right. fair. You're, fair. Not fair. Fair. you're not fair. You're not fair. You're fair. Yeah, that's true. Oof. Okay, now you're going to be looking for maybe a Roamer. Maybe a rupee actually for AP Brand because it can check the the waves. Minotaur is also open. That's also a valid hero going up against Eevee. I mean, you don't get some of the real world manipulation, but at the same time, you Sorry, stop him from doing it. You do work. So they the Edith. They go Edith and the Khalid. So this leaves us with the gold, Daner. Would it be Harith? But that might be an overload of magic damage. Yeah. So they might just go standard. Go for Claude. Yeah, go go for standard, man. This is game seven. Game seven. You you don't want to leave it up to chance. If they do pick up the Harif, then again, keeping their ace in their sleeve. Yeah. No, Bruno, Bruno or, Claude. or Claude. Yeah. 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 Uh, Bruno or Claude, definitely. I think Bruno more consistent damage. Claude yep. can do the same thing yep. technically with a lot of pressure they already have yep. already, but Claude is feeling it. CW is feeling it after an hey. MVP performance in the previous game. What did he do? He went in their base and he said, fight me, fight CW. He took that fight, he got that wipeout. I mean, at this point, you got the momentum. Don't stop. This is for the world championship. And the thing is, if you're looking at to compare both of the lineups, we know for sure that this Brody composition from AP Brand is very strong at the early to the mid game. Come late game though, this Eve with the Claude, and then you have the Kadira factor. It's going to be hard to control the map. AP Brand, they might win this best of seven. They should win this best of seven only with their standard play style, their early game. To everyone tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the last game of the M5 World Championship where either the Golden Throne will be completed or the World Tour be completed. We're jumping into the game where this game will determine the World Champions. There's no other way to see it happen. One last time, Rizal Memorial Coliseum! Give it up for the two teams! Now, Keyboy as well as Ogwen, man-to-man -man defense, looking at each other here. Looks like this time, maybe Bran is opting not to go aggressive into the jungle. Kyrie, for once, will have an easier time forming up to level four. CW opted to go for the Purify, knowing that he can be gone upon by Ogwen. And obviously, Flaptiz, he can go for the Flicker place, we know. I can eliminate the Goldener easily. So Wind of Nature might be rushed here by CW. Maybe his third item, or maybe fourth. Okay, some damage placed down. Quick Sand Guard gets him. A bit more HP, Kyrie already looking for an invade. Kalti is able to clear it out, just a big one though. Kyrie looking for a little small one. Retries it, gets level four, and pokes Kalti getting boots a bit more prio in the bottom lane. And, and again, we gotta look at how Sans and Keyboy, I gotta say this, Duo has been doing well for Onik, but the same can be said for Few as well as Oquen. I do feel like with the composition that they both have, the mid duo is going to be a very big impact in this game. 
Speaking of uh, the mid duo here for Keyboy as well as Sans, it's a it's a tricky duo because you clear the waves fast, but you don't necessarily stay in that lane. It's gonna be up to Onyx on how they utilize this Keyboy uh, Kadira, and at the same time, AP Brand, they don't have the best heroes to kind of check the bushes. Maybe Cal TZ could be there, but of course, few can uh, save his teammates. But they're not built for this Kadira. Few able to pull them in. But not that much damage, both sense as well as boost. Just want that level four Kyle TZ already leashing the turtle in a position where he can cancel at any moment. Kyrie thinks about it. Both boost as well as science, not level four. Doing the same thing. Kyrie with the shield unity into the back right now, able to connect it onto Ogwen, who has the earth shatter. And now the onward. Turn to the Flap TZ finds him. The real level plates him. He popped him. First blood secured by Flap TZ. Another round coming down as Boost deals some damage. Retribution battle still for Kyrie, but Few finds it. And that's going to be a skill from Keyboy. Ogun with Primal Wrath. The Praiser's Wrath. Ogun gets the kill onto Keyboy. And Onik lose out in the first turtle fight. Oh, yeah, definitely. AP Brand won the turtle, won the fight. This is the usual story of this best of seven. Look yes. at AP Brand to win the early. Yes. It's the early game for AP Brand all the time. They're the masters of the early game that we saw all throughout this M5. Every time that they win, they destroy their enemies in the early stages. And you gotta say, FAPTG started the charge once again, going in for the flicker play. In fact, they have poked Sans. Sans forced to use the flicker and the real world manipulation to try to keep himself alive. But in the end, during the turtle fight, he was a non-factor. And it's all thanks to Flap TZ. Yep, now, looking at the item builds here, the clot has to delay a little bit just because he has to build a little bit of defense. But Boots getting attacked here. Look at that burst. My goodness. The Ghost Bursters as well. Boots, defensive penalty zone. Cal TZ dives. Flicker out. Real world manipulation. Popped down by Sans. Ogwen just posturing, zoning Boots away. Meanwhile, Looks like CW just Ooh. wants to farm up safely here. Oh, and again, goodness. Onik, they have to find a way to slow down the game while AP Grant has to figure out how to get these objectives because they've been getting the kills. They got the turtle. No. The faster they can get the outer turrets, the more space they're going to deny from exactly. Keyboy. However, few with two assists and a lot of late, late prior. They're able to get to level six. It's actually a level, almost a level ahead of Suns. Going to be waiting for that. That's a massive lead that AP Grant has. More resources, more EXP means that in the early stages of the game, yeah, surely they have the advantage and they can team fight. And eventually they will activate Super Marco. Fortunately for Onik, the turtle is onto the bottom lane where Super Marco is not at. That means that they might not suffer from the Brody, but at all the same, Onik, they don't have the best tools to go up against AP Brand, anyways. Yep, and now we're looking at a turtle. Kyle TZ initiated. Kyrie finds Flap. The fact he just wants to wait a little bit of time. He sees signs. Pokes him down. There's a good amount of damage. Kaltizi as well there. Both junglers at level 7. Flap on the turtle. No quick sand guard this time around. Kyrie picks up the gold buff. Meanwhile, up top, there's also a little bit of a gank. Oh, going to be caught. Taken down. Kyrie versus Flap versus Kyle. And it's Flap who takes it. Kyrie brought back to the team of the Shadow Stampede. The real world manipulation. Not enough to take wow. it down. Kyrie with the two. And that is a trade. One kill up top for a turtle for AP Brent. Kyrie is one of the <laughs> only junglers that can play a utility hero like exactly. an assassin. How the hell did he turn the needle? He gets out and into safety. Unfortunately, he still missed the retribution. So, a still massive coming up from AP Brent. Almost a free turtle, if you think about it, because they didn't lose anything. At the same time, Onik had to just back down after all their investments that they did. Few in the middle lane, very low, Nether Realm. Popped in, Kyrie brought back to the team and onward. They're shattered. Now, connecting from Kyrie! With a rough wave! Ogwen falling! Few as well! That was Kyle! With an appraiser's wrath, key boy finds the enemy. Another one on the Marco. Oh! But Sans picks him up. This Ooh. is why I say, man, Super Marco, as well as CW, they're developing a relationship. Super Marco came in and was like, I want to go down, but you're going to come with me. And that's a positive trade, obviously, for Onik as they switch back to the toward their side. They give two, two assists. To CW, one kill after that. Eventually he died, but that's all, all good for, the, for a Claude who's looking for farm in this early stage of the game. Most importantly, they have punished Kyle TZ and Onik have recovered. 
is going to be good for the Indonesian squad. Hey, I, I just want to say, man, this time they're picking up the pace. Both teams are fighting, I would say, in a faster tempo here. Yes. Both teams are finding the mistakes, and this is what happens in the best of seven. Key boy, I got to say, very good counter engage. Coming in from AP Brand is like AP Brand that strikes, but then Key boy is just like, I'm just waiting for you guys to clump up. And he, he look at I want to deal maximum damage. Look at his position right now. He's trying to pin down Super Marco without the flicker. He does have the Petrify. Super Marco not feeling oh, yeah. so confident walking towards that bush. And that's a smart decision on his part. I mean, at this point, he doesn't want to get wet, man. Like, he, he smells something and he's like, I'm smelling a fish. Kyrie is smelling an engage. Faptizi jumps forward to Petrify. He knocks Faptizi out, but he's still able to get out in time. The quick sand card buys him a little bit more time. CW. Able to bat away with a battle mirror image, but he did just bait out a raging sandstorm and a quick sand guard. That's good enough because me sands can pop the ultimate this time. No petrify this time though. For Keyboy. Oh. CW no blazing the web. Flap TZ jumping forward on the sans. Doing a bit more damage. CW trying to turn it around. Earth Shatter. Oakwin compromise. Oh, look Onward, at the turtle. Out, turtle. Cal TZ finds it. A beautiful retribution, a beautiful macro play by AP Brett. Looks like Onyx, they just want to get some kills. They don't really want to contest with the turtle because we saw that they are basically avoiding the turtle. They just want to go in. Yeah. They want to get Super Marco down because Super Marco looks like E-Boy has to use the rough ways to, to escape. Yeah. We see AP Brett uh, pushing the envelope up top. Blazing the wet on the Super Marco. Still able to disengage for now. Pots in the stacks, says don't TW away. Does the same to Kyrie and Boots is waiting in that bush. Flap TZ needs to back off. And Onik and AP Brand, both these teams. Look at Kyle TZ. He's taking advantage of this chaos. He's like, hey, if you guys want to go up top, I'm going to go to your purple ball. It's a massive win. The retribution, he steals it. AP Brand are making micro moves that eventually pile up. And now it's great macro from AP Brand. They have regained the lead because of the small things that they have done. And and they are doing it cleanly. Oh yeah, very clean. Right now, Onik, it looks like they're being more responsive than being proactive. Whatever AP Brand is doing, they want to counter it for better or for worse. And AP Brand, I kind of feel like they, they're starting to understand the mentality coming in from Onik. So if you guys are waiting for us to make a move, well, we're going to give you the sleight of hand. We're going to show you the left side while we take something from the right. Bro, this up, up top. That means Onik might go for the push here. But Flap TZ ever so on point with the defense. And AP Bren are just denying everything away from Onik. Onik just can't catch a break. Yeah, look at the position from Onik. Everyone is on one side uh -oh. of the map. Sounds now engaged on right now. No Not paper. able to pop anything in time. And falls. Keyboy in the midst of it all. Petrify. Rough wave. Taunted up. Canceled out. What a Too bad. Kyle TZ shuts Keyboy down. A turn of our memory onto Kyrie, who pops in that tortoise's poison. And AP Bren now with a significant advantage oh in the no. mid game. The mental distress, man, is getting to Onik. That's Sons right. Sans now making mistakes. And the, the, the problem there for Sans as well as Key Boy is that they're not tanky heroes. They're eliminated easily. They didn't have their flickers. And the thing is, the Lord was already respawning during that time. So every single move that Onik did in that fight is a mistake. And AP Bren punishes with the Lord Jake. Right now, AP Bren, 3,400 gold lead. Onik, they have CW on this squad. It's possible. But AP Brand, I don't feel like they want to wait that long. They're waiting for that that point where Onik will concede a team fight and then they might try to push to end. Stampede, Kyrie with the flank. A weird angle, an off angle to catch AP Brand off. The purify gonna be used up by few. CW claims the orange buff. Keyboy gets out of the taunt. Lord spawning back in the land of dawn. This time on AP Brand's side of the map. Gonna be the defense for Onik. Fortunately for them, they have all the tools to defend. They have an Eve. And this is something that they can use to bridge the early game to the mid game. At this time, Onik needs to go full anti disaster protocol now. They need to just regain the, the, their part of the map at least. Yeah. And they can use the Eve for that one. So, Marco able to get the turret up top. Kyrie so far is taking the opportunity of AP Brand setting everything up for him to farm for himself because he understands that he needs to get as tanky as possible. Hold up, that turret. Ooh, still kept alive by Onik. Now looking at the mid lane okay. tier one. Boots 
holding it down, but the turret should fall. Tier 1 over the AP Bren. You see that move coming up from Kautiz. He's zoning out the members of Onik by just literally whopping down. And AP Bren are e taking an easy turret in the middle. Further increasing their lead to 4k. And off, of course, they're going to get another turret. Now Onik, their base falls. This is not looking good for Onik. You can hear the cheers coming in. AP Bren has the energy coming in from the crowd. Boots goes in, Kyrie as well. Does the same, now taunted up. Brought back to the team. Furnace Boy Sounds gonna be used up. Kaltizi has the appraiser's rack, gets chunked up. Penalty down! By Boots! Kaltizi, Ray Sands to the back. He boy, leaving a flag right now. Goes in, but doesn't find anyone. Rough waves, only onto one. Boots brought back once again. Ogwen, good steal. Earth Shatter to lock Boots down. Kyle doing the same thing. Keep it with Audley. Kaltizi with lock up. Ogwen with a follow up. And that's the Earth Shatter to lock Onik down. Onik, they made a move. That was a brave engage. Everything went right, but the damage was not enough. Mid lane base turret at risk of getting taken down. One more shot. Two, two base turrets. Ten seconds on the clock for Keyboy. Six for Boots. Admirable coming out from Monix to go for the play. Because Boots landed a beautiful penalty zone, but they didn't have the damage. And Sans was sitting back. In fact, CW was babysitting Sans during that time because he knows that the Khalid will eventually jump and they needed to punish. What that meant is that after the jump coming up from Boots, there wasn't any follow-up damage. Even the real-world manipulation is not enough because the flap, because the Nether Realm is available. So Onik tried to go for the play, didn't have the items to back it up, and unfortunately lost so much because of that gamble. AP Brand now doing the Lord as Kyrie! One against oh three, no. brought back and taken down. Onik and the brink, and AP Brent capitalized. Now onto Boots, DPC, keep it with Oddity, with the rough waves, the Nether Realm saves him, CW with a purify, AP Brent are running Onik down. Keyboy gets another South Blows! Super Marco has slain the mid lane! But there's no defense, Sans is down for 30 seconds, there's a fat minion of waves in the bottom lane, and they have the Prodi! Mid lane, gonna be cleared up right now by Boots, he's still holding on to the bottom wave. The base! They're gonna base. Out as well. They're gonna they're end this! They're looking for the base, they're looking for the base! AP Bren, the Sky Kings have been taken down! The Golden Road to the Bren, Lang, 